Well, Lids Whitby finally got that first home win of the season. Um, spells, you know, really convincing performance out there, but somehow cut a bit uh, nervy towards the end there. Yeah, um, it's three points at the end of the day, isn't it? That, that's all. That's all we come for. Um, really proud of, really proud of the lads. You know, I've just told them that the the effort that they've put in, not just today, but you know, over the, over the last couple of games since I've been involved with, uh, with them as manager, it, it's been terrific. And um, I asked for that coming into today, and, and it, they gave me that in, in, in tenfold. And especially w within that first half, was was you know some of the football we, when we played was breathtaking and. Um, re really took Prescott to, you know, to, the, to the sword and um, coming out second half we knew, we knew they'd have to change something you know we, we were two goals to the good and um, it was it was a case of, of you know trying to trying to do or trying to replicate sorry what, what we did in that first half but you were always going to come under, under the spell at, at times and when that spell came you know the, the lads the lads held up and um, like I said they, they scored at the end which made it a little bit nervy for us all but um, really proud of them and, and, and a well deserved three points. Yeah, and in the first half, barring that chance, Lich in the first minute that Prescott had, um, you know, once we'd be settled down and grown to the game a bit, it was very much a convincing display and uh, two really well worked goals there as well. Yeah, I wanted to, us to control the tempo today, and, you know, we, we haven't really done that too many times this season. Um, and I, I just felt that the players we had on the pitch today was, was you know, would have been you know, great in, in terms of getting the ball down and, and you know, not and being very, very patient and composed with it, and that's exactly how, how it played out. And you know, two, two terrific goals, two, two different goals, but um, no, two, two goals, um, all the not. So yeah, I was really proud of it. And um, like I said, we, we come under under spells in the second half, which, which put under the cosh a little bit, but I uh, held up and uh, great three points for us. Yeah, and that first goal coming from uh, Connor Smith, who you look at him thinking, you know, defender, uh, right back, but a, a very tap minded one and. You know, really, it was a, an outstanding finish from there because it came with him quickly, so I just set up nice for him to strike into that bottom corner. Yeah, that's said, I said before the game as well in, in the team talk, you know, I want to give him that freedom to, to go and do that. And um, at the end of the day, it's, it's 11 v 11, and you know, formations are formations, but you know, I, I give my lads the, the, the freedom to, to do that. Like you said, Connor's you know, playing, playing out right, right back, right centre back for us at the moment, but, but finds himself on, on the edge of the six yard box, you know, after a great, great team move to. To tap home for us and, and give us a lead. So, no, I think the lads are enjoying it. You know, they, they're looking really fit at the moment, and, 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 and you know that was that was a point that I made to them as well. That you know the, the, the work they're doing for each other at the moment is is, is great, and, and it goes a long way to why we're getting getting the uh, getting the result today. That's for sure. Yeah, and the second goal from Stephen Walker, a player who was very much playing on the shoulders, wasn't he, uh, throughout the match as he always does. Eventually, the this time the flag did stay down for his goal and. You know, a good finish from him getting into onto his uh, right foot there and finding that near post. But as well, a shout out to uh, Josh Shuka for that ball through initially. Yeah, you know, as much as I want us to play football and, and play through the lines and stuff it's like that, it, uh, you know, it's it's important. Steve does that, and and, and Sim the same, and, and any other striker. You know, get, getting that getting that ball in behind. You know, it, it's a great ball to great ball to play. In. Uh, he was frustrated a couple of times. Obviously, he got caught offside two or three times, close ones. I feel. Um, could have went either way, but you know that one way wasn't offside. He made no mistake in, in doing that chop that he likes to do and, and right foot in, in the bottom corner. So no, it gives a little bit of a cushion. Um, David Scott, I obviously going into second half, but um, no, the, the, the lads held up great. And, um, I'll, I'll say it again, you know, really, 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 really proud of them. Yeah, and it's often the goal scorers that take all the credit, but um, someone that really looked like he stood out was uh, Campbell Darcy. Not really tight short position. He was sort of playing very advanced at times, wasn't he? But uh, I feel that you know he's. He's one player that you know. He's again played a variety of positions since he's been with us, and today in particular was uh, superb out there. He was, he was great, and you know, like I said, he was, he wasn't the only one. You know, I, f I felt like the midfield three were great for today, and, and, and Weeds as well. Who came on and um, early was good as well. But um, no, in terms of Dars, you know, he, he's got that athleticism, as and he's he's young, he's 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 agile. He can get up and down the pitch for us in, in that position and. He, he was a, he was a threat all, all afternoon, and especially in that first half, he, I felt like a lot of our chances came came from Dars, and um, he, he, he was he was terrific, and, and, and you know I'm hoping he's had a little spell out through injury, but um, he, he's trained hard and, and trained well, and, and got his chance today, and, and you know hopefully he, he's, he's he'll stay in there and produce performances like that consistently for us. Yeah, and a player that was brought back in um, ahead of this match was uh, Connor Simpson, back from Australia now. Um, and obviously, with Jake Charles being out injured for a couple of months, um, you know, there's going to be that void to fill. And it, it, do you feel that Simmons is the player that can really do that once he settles back into the side? Definitely, he's, he's obviously known to the club, known to the fans, known, known to, to the lot of the lads still in the dressing room. And 
Um, it, it was like coming back to work for me. He's, he, you know, he, he settled in really well. He's joined us in it with a couple of weeks worth of training now. Um, still, still need to catch up with his fitness, and he, he, he won't shy away from that himself. And um, I, I just told him to be honest with me today and give me all he could, and you know, just give me give me the heads up um, in terms of when he when he feels he's ready to come off and, and be ready again for Tuesday. So. No, he's 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 a, he's a thorn, and I played against Connor myself. He's, uh, you know, you, you look up at him and you, you think in the worst straight away, and that's exactly the same coming out for, before the game today. You know, I can see their lads looking up, looking up at him and, and raising eyebrows, and, and that's what that's what Connor is. He's he's, he's a thorn in the side of any defender, and um, he, he'll always be be a pest on his day, and, and that's exactly how he was today. He held the ball up for us. He, he linked play, and um, unfortunately, he didn't didn't really get many chances today, but. You know, the fitter he gets, and um, the more the more we, we play like we played today, you know, those chances will, will definitely come from. Yeah, and another introduction as well. Uh, Jason Kennedy, Barton is your assistant. Um, had a couple of trainer sessions with him now as well. Um, what's what do you say he's sort of brought to the, the group so far, and what do you feel he can offer as well moving forwards in that new role for him? It, it, it's, it's new for JK as well. He, he's he's come into his first role, but he, he's someone I trust. Jay, I've, I've known him since. Um, since I since I was probably around fourteen, and, and I've played at three or four clubs with Jay, so he, he's just someone I can bounce things off, and someone I trust. Uh, you know, I had a lot of interest in in, in the role in becoming as assistant manager. A lot more people who were, who were experienced than, than Jay in terms of coaching, but I just felt you know I wanted someone in the role who, who, who the key word is trust and I, who I can rely on. And uh, JK offers me that, um, and he, he's, he's fitted in seamlessly in terms of training. He's He's mucked right in, and it was his first taste today, and he's, he's got a hundred percent record. So, um, well, may that continue. Yeah. And then, just looking ahead, it's obviously about trying to back it up now, isn't it? On the back of today's victory, big game again on Tuesday night against Gainsbury here at home, and one that obviously look at the league position. I know you're sort of too keen not to look at that um, too much, but in terms of that one, it, I guess really it's just the main thing is trying to go there and, and get that victory again to, to back today's result. That's exactly what I've just said there. You know, that's like the point to recover right and. and Prepare right for, for that. It'll be a tough game. I think that you know they're in a bit of a false position at the moment because they've because of their FA Cup exploits. They're, they're probably about five games behind everyone else. So um, under no illusions how tough that'll be. They've got a couple of key uh, key players for who, who play for them who, 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 who are good players for, for this level um, and it will be a threat on the day. And no, like I said, it's important we, we, we take the, the good points from today um, and, and, and take it into that day and take the confidence that we've gained from today in, into Tuesday. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I'll have, I'll, have one, I'll have one or two back. There was, um, you know, Hawksy dropped out a couple of days ago with with a niggle, and, and Nathan Thomas is, is ill at the moment. Um, you know, and, and one or two of the obviously long term in, in terms of Jake, so and Alfie. So um, no, I, I'm, I'm I'm hoping I'll have a few more to, to pick from. Um, you know, the suspense was 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 a bit light today, but um, you know, like I said, that the lads, you know, the back the back the, the back that upgrade and. and three points for everyone, not just for the lads, but you know, for the club, it's much needed for us. Right, much Thanks.